Just going to give it a taste. It's banging. We shall give it a go. Hi, I'm Ed Smith, cook and food writer, the author of Crave, and I'm here today to cook curry leaf mussels with oven chips. So with this one, flavour base is going to be uh, sweat off some onion and some ginger, both finely sliced, with some mustard seeds and curry leaves. A bit later we add some turmeric, some chilli powder and some cumin. Uh, and when all that's tasting, smelling very, very fragrant, we'll add some tomato puree, some cream, that's our flavour base, and then we steam the mussels in it. One of the, one of the things about uh, cooking mussels is you want to get everything ready straight away. Uh, got all the spices ready, so we just need to chop some ginger and some onion. With the ginger, I don't know whether you've seen this before, I'm sure you probably have, the best way to peel ginger is with a spoon. You can just scrape off the skin, like this. Mussels, the good thing about mussels is that if you want to cook them, it's, as I said, it's basically the same technique each time, um, which is to create a, a flavour, flavourful liquid base, and then um, steam them in it. And on this occasion, I'm kind of, after that curry flavour and the, uh, the aroma and the spices that you might have in an uh, Indian or Southeast Asian um, dish, and other times, you know, go French, garlic, cream. Um, don't like beer so much with mussels. People always talk about beer and mussels, but I'd rather do cider or wine. Anyway, yeah, so mussels super easy. So this, that's that's going to be enough ginger, I think. I'm going to do half a, half an onion. So we're just going to chop these finely. You don't need to finely dice it. I think having the thin strands of, of onion and ginger is quite nice in this respect, in this dish. And then the third thing to chop is just the garlic, although that will go in later so it doesn't burn. So what we're doing is um, going to have this dish with oven chips, which I think are actually great. I wrote a whole book on side dishes and I regret not adding just a blank page of French fries, cooked for 10 minutes longer than the packet says. That's the chopping done. The other thing obviously is, is mussels, which you've got to be clean. And when you buy mussels, they might look clean, but you've got to purge them first. These have been sitting in water for a while. Um, and you see that on them, they all look pretty good now, but there's a few with what's called a beard, which just needs to be pulled off and discarded. The easiest way, by the way, to do that is, if you find any with a beard on, is to pull it out under the water, because I think the muscle is happiest at that point. It's not really going to be dragging onto it. Um, and just to explain what purging means, that means soaking the muscles in water, taking it back to the, for five or ten minutes, um, transfer the mussels into a colander. Get rid of the dirty water, which should be less of it as you go through. And then refill it again. And at this point, once they've had a couple of purges, you can then do that thing where you check whether the mussels are good to cook. And if they're, if they're, if they're closed, then that's fine. If they're open, these all look pretty good. But if you have any that are open just a little bit, you can tap it and hopefully it closes. And if not, then discard it. And that's it. So if, you, if you've got a nice clean set of mussels and a base to create flavour, you can get cooking. Pans over a medium heat and we wait for it to get a little bit warm. Add a couple of tablespoons of oil and then the the ginger and the onion first, not the garlic, because that'll burn with the amount of time we're going to be cooking it for. A little bit of a sizzle. Always add a little bit of salt to your onions. It helps, to, helps them to break down as you're cooking and get sweeter quicker. We'll fry that off for a couple of seconds. So, this is getting flavoursome. We add some mustard seeds, but also the curry leaves as well. I cook those for a couple of minutes. Immediately, curry leaves smell incredible. It's one of my probably top five kitchen flavors. So you can buy dried leaves and you can buy fresh curry leaves. The dry leaves don't really have even remotely the same amount of aroma as a fresh curry leaf does. The, the tip really is that if you ever see curry leaves, fresh curry leaves in the supermarket or in a grocer's, um, buy a pack and stick them in the freezer. You don't defrost them, you just cook them from frozen and that's the flavor right there. 
I think this has probably had 90 seconds of cooking. But the main reason we're going to move to the next stage is that you can hear um, and see the mustard seeds popping, which means that their, their flavour is coming out and we don't want, to, we don't want them to burn. Uh, we're going to add the spices, turmeric, chilli powder, cumin. We added quite a lot of oil at the start of this, deliberately because once you add the, the, the spices, that starts to dry things out. If you haven't got enough oil in there, you could add more or you could just add a splash of water. I want to cook them for about 30 seconds before adding a tablespoon of tomato puree. Also going to add a cup of water just to thin things out a bit. Good smells. Finally, about 300 ml of double cream. So that is our flavour base. You could, if you were cooking for lots of other people, you could make this beforehand and then just reheat it. Um, but it's, it's not a hugely time consuming thing to do anyway, so maybe just prep everything beforehand, cook it up. What I want to do is though, to make sure that it's boiling before adding the mussels. I'm going to put the lid on for that reason. Everything's going really well. We've um, got our flavour base here, the curry leaf sauce. Uh, in cleaning up, realised that I forgot to put the garlic in, um, which we finely chopped. Uh, so just do that um, after the onions are, are soft, before the spices go in. And our creamy curry leaf sauce is bubbling now, which means that the only thing left to do is to cut the mussels and to grab the oven chips out of the, out of the oven. Chuck the mussels in, these are cleaned. Put the lid on top and just give it a good shake. And we leave it for three minutes. The bubbles away, they'll open up. Handy little glass lid here, so we'll see that they're nice and open. And that's it. These have been boiling away for about two minutes. Um, and I just wanted to show you that they're probably not quite ready. Two things with the mussels, you want to get as wide a pan as possible. And ideally they sit in maybe a layer of two, um, two or three deep max. And um, so you just want to move any mussels that are at the bottom to the top. And when, they're, when they're at this kind of stage of half open, they're basically ready. And by the time you've got your chips in a bowl, people around the table, it's all, it's all done. So that's it, curry leaf mussels with fries. Um, you just created a, a base with onions, ginger, garlic, didn't forget the garlic, uh, curry leaves and, must, and mustard seeds, cumin, turmeric, a bit of chilli powder, and some cream, and some tomato puree, and that's it. So there you go, it's curry leaf mussels with fries, super simple, very quick, and will sate your craving for something spiced and curried.